See, Intercom in i3Kinix app allows to connect a panel to a SIP server as a subscriber, to make and accept audio video calls and open the door via Intercom. SIP server is added in the third step of the start setup of a project or in the devices section of the config. Choose SIP server. Enter the IP address or the domain of the SIP server. Enter the connection port to the SIP server, then the first and the last RTP port for audio exchange and a port for video exchange. These settings may differ from the settings of your server. In this case, forward these UDP ports on the router for calls via the Internet. Enter the SIP ID of your project. i 3 Kinix panels will be registered on the server with this ID. This number is dialed to call your panel. Caller ID can be the same as SIP ID. Then enter the password to connect to the SIP server. When the Not Disturb mode is selected, all incoming calls are automatically declined. You can allow to use a loudspeaker. If you want to call other subscribers registered on the same SIP server from i 3 Kinix or open the intercom door, they have to be added with the help of Add Subscriber function. It can be an IP intercom or a video SIP intercom. Let's add Dorbird intercom as an example. A page with intercom settings appears. Enter the SIP ID in the first tab. Open the second tab and enter the host of the device, the port, login and password. If it is required, RTSP link can be entered manually. It can be required if you want to see a link from another camera, but not from the intercom one, or if the intercom gives video in an irregular link. The widget of SIP is set in the third tab. You can decide if you want to display or not a button to open the door, a button to turn on light, and a button to display the intercom camera. After the setting is done, place the widget in a room. If you set SIP server in the config, remember to make the changes public on the server. Let's check the connection status of the SIP server. the call icon on the intercom image is green, there is connection to the SIP server, and a call to the SIP subscriber can be made. i 3 app must be active at this moment, that is, it must be launched on a panel.